looking at libraries on GitHub on their trending page, what libraries are good when putting into your Android app? How can you tell that it's a good library? How can you tell that you know it's not going to fail next week or, or, or it's going to be in support for Android for a good amount of time? Now, I do the same approach for every single library I put in there. Um, main libraries, you know, um, you can have some, some very small libraries, and I'll get to that in, in a minute, but uh, big libraries. So libraries that contribute to your entire ecosystem of your entire app, your entire architecture, like having a dependency injection um, a tool, you know, like things like RxJava, um, Coroutines, or things are, those things are really big and they're contributing to your um, your architecture in a big way. Now, things like a custom view, like like a um, um, uh, image view that that makes the um, uh, the picture a circle. That that's something that doesn't really need to be updated very frequently. But things like RxJava Dagger, uh, those type of things, they need to be updated. They need to be updated frequently, and there needs to be someone. It needs to be popular. So um, looking at these, and I see uh, a lot of them, a lot of things, like here's one. So looking at coin, I already have that in here. Or, um, uh, looking at coin, which is something that I'm very interested in. It's a dependency injection tool. Everything looks good about it. Looks great. It looks a lot easier for me for Dagger 2. Um, I didn't test it out, but it looks a lot easier. The, the syntax or anything, which is a problem with me for Dagger. I do not like the syntax for Dagger. I'm always trying to find an alternative, but um, this seemed like it. And then I looked at the star counts. I looked at it was 149. No, there's no way I'm putting this in any Android application unless it's something that I really don't care about because the chances and the risk of this not becoming popular and not having any support forever is very big look there, there's only one issue there's no pull requests you know you can see that that no one's really really pushing anything to this and no one's really doing anything unless the the developer that's using it is is a uh, merging really quick but uh yeah three days ago so but if you look at something like anko you know i would put this in my app in any app it has 8,000 stars, it has 124 issues, maybe in that slot of issues, but look at the pull request, 17, and they're merging, you know, eight days, 22 days, whatever, um, but they have a whole bunch of open pull requests. Uh, they're very popular, they have a whole bunch of issues, whole bunch of, of um, updates and all. They have, I think they have other branches. Yeah, preview, all that. Uh, they have a whole bunch of stars that are popular, and they've been around for at least six months. So I don't look at any library. I don't put it in any app that I care about, which is all of them, unless it's my own apps that I'm testing with. Any app that that I'm working with, whether it's a, a freelance gig or a full-time or anything like that, I look at the stars. I look at it a thousand stars or more. I don't go anything under unless it's a very minor library like something that that's custom image view or something something that doesn't need to be updated something that, that can just leave in there for a year plus and it wouldn't make a difference um or i can just get another one because those are a dime a dozen uh, but uh i go for a minimum stars of a thousand and i make sure the library or piece of software it has been around for roughly around six months I, um, at least six months. Now I say that's because, you know, if something has like eight star, um, 8,000 stars and it's only been around for a month, you know, um, uh, it could be a trend. It could be just a small trend. It could go up and then it could just crash down and just never be there, there um, anymore. Just like a lot of JavaScript frameworks, they um, go up and they have like 10,000 stars and they crash down a month later and no one hears about them. Same thing. Um, you don't want to go into the small trends. You want to go into things that are very big, that, that are kind of leveling out and they're thing for a very long time. Or you're going to have a lot of developer bills and a lot of developer time, you know, um, 
deconstructing each app and then rebuilding it again with new libraries just because your library um, uh, got out of business or it, um, 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 uh, no, one's, no one's contributing to it. Maybe um, uh, nobody is contributing to it and you have to contribute to it because you're so, you're that deep into the software that you're dependent on it that you need to take the software and you need to contribute to it further increasing your development time and you need to hire another person to contribute to that um, it's very costly so just pick ones that are that are already popular that are, that you think that's are going to be there for a long time year plus you know five years plus maybe um yeah don't go with the small trending libraries